Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, May the 17th, 2012 with a gold silver spider report. Uh, this is the GLD. Finally, we're getting a bounce in gold. It's been, seems like it's been a long time. We have a pretty good bounce going. Opened up uh, this morning on a gap and a big broad stroke here, which is really good. Um, but still, we are just coming off the lows here. We got down to 148.60, 148.60, just shy of the 148.27. Now we're rebounding strongly back into this trading band here, but still uh, well below all key moving averages. Uh, this this part of the game looks ugly here, but a bounce was due. Uh, we're up about two uh, and a quarter percent, uh, uh, just coming into the close here. Uh, so gold getting its bounce. Let's see what happens here. Uh, of course, your next overhead resistance is going to come in here, right here at this 10-day moving average. It's a little bit of resistance there. Uh, some more real resistance coming here at the 21 day, this red line. And then, of course, the upper trend line and the 50 day, the blue line, are going to intersect here around, I'm looking at about the 159 level, 159 on the GLD. So um, below key support, uh, lots of, uh, of uh, headwind up ahead for gold. As far as trading goes, these kind of bounces are very, very difficult to play. They usually come very swift. Uh, out of the blue and um, hard to get in on of course you know they gap up in the morning so so they're already um, <clears throat> running by the time you, you realize it and uh, they can uh, uh, correct back very quickly market's still in a downtrend I would not get excited about a gold trade myself until we clear some of this uh, overhead resistance here and possibly even get above uh, this previous major break uh, high here uh, at about the one looks about the 160 two level. Uh, so uh, that's where I stand on, on gold. Still in a downtrend as far as I'm concerned, getting a reactionary bounce upward. And here is silver uh, up uh, uh, three and a quarter percent, uh, doing better than the gold. Back up here to the upper trend line here that I've drawn, uh, a natural place of overhead resistance here below all key moving averages. Uh, so some good volume, a good bounce. Uh, I'd love to see some follow through. Uh, take us up to challenge some of this uh, overhead resistance here. So still bearish on silver. Um, you know, uh, uh, one day does not make a new trend, uh, but uh, it could be a start. So let's watch uh, watch these metals uh, closely for some follow through on today's action. And moving on now to stocks. This is the SPY, the uh, S&P 500 uh, uh, spider. Uh, not so uh, good for stocks again today. Uh, we made a lower low here, breaking down uh, for a third day in very heavy volume, uh, losing control of this key 200-day moving. I'm sorry, 100-day moving average. This green dotted line. Uh, we were getting support there for several sessions, but we broke loose uh, earlier in the week, and uh, it has been a downhill ride ever since uh, on some big volume, down one and a half percent today. Uh, markets have closed May the 17th here. Uh, so uh, next point of support is going to be all the way down here uh, at about the one, uh, let's see, this is the 200 day moving average at the 127.10 level, 127.10 level. Looks like we're going to take a trip down there to test that one. So uh, no reason to be uh, excited uh, about uh, any kind of a trade on, on uh, the spiders here. Now here is the NASDAQ composite, home of a lot of the leading stocks, uh, down over 2% today, uh, closing on the lows, uh, not a good sign, pickup in volume. Uh, uh, we've had uh, three distribution days in a row here, uh, not a great sign. Uh, looks like we're headed down for a, a, a test of the 200-day uh, moving average as well, which is coming in at 2741.43, 2741.43. So uh, all, uh, all is breaking loose uh, on uh, the stock indexes, uh, down below the 100-day moving average. Uh, had drawn a trend line here. Uh, we were respecting that trend line, uh, but uh, uh, today we have broken through that substantially on some pretty major volume. So uh, you know we did have a cross of uh, the 21-day uh, um, uh, crossing the 50-day moving average. Not a good sign. Uh, all the key moving averages seem to be, um, uh, at least the short term ones, are sloping downwards now. You can see the 50 day rolling over. So, um, not, not any uh, uh, good news on the NASDAQ composites. And here's the Dow down one and a quarter percent on a pickup in volume, heavy volume. 
Uh, lots of heavy volume selling here the last four sessions. Uh, lost control of its 100-day uh, um, uh, moving average. Looks like it's taken the trip down here uh, to the 200-day moving average, which is currently at 12,196. Uh, 12,196. 12, um, so heavy volume drops for the stock indexes. Uh, gold and silver having a reaction to the upside. So uh, a bit of a, a mixed market here, um, but uh, no reason um, uh, to say that uh, things have uh, uh, changed uh, direction, which has been to the downside for both stocks and the metals.